nitrocellulose, which you see here, has been used to produce celluloid, where it's first plastic. It's also being used to produce smokeless powder for guns and for magic tricks. Obviously this is dangerous and it shouldn't be tried at home, but these are the chemicals. Potassium nitrate, sulfuric acid, sodium carbonate solution and distilled water. We started off by weighing out 25 grams of potassium nitrate and afterwards adding 40 milliliters of concentrated sulfuric acid and the potassium nitrate to a beaker and ice bath. The potassium nitrate reacts with sulfuric acid to form nitric acid and the mixture of sulfuric and nitric acid is known as nitration acid. This is however an improvised nitration acid as it also contains potassium sulfate. This is cellulose. When it reacts with our nitrating acid, hopefully all of those hydroxy groups are esterified with nitric acid. What you end up with is the stuff in the right, which looks a little more complex. Because our nitration conditions aren't perfect, however, some of our hydroxy groups will remain unnitrated. It's time for the fun part. Let's begin with the actual nitration. Some cellulose was added to the nitration mixture. It was allowed to stand for half an hour, afterwards 10 additional milliliters of sulfuric acid were added and then it was allowed to sit for 15 minutes. Once the nitration was finished, a lot of distilled water was added to dilute down the acid mixture. It was washed another time using sodium carbonate solution and then a few times using distilled water. It was then allowed to dry and this is what happens when you burn it. It wasn't perfectly nitrated, but it still burned way faster than normal cotton. If you liked today's video, make sure to like and subscribe. And as always, I have to thank all of my Patreons, because you guys make it possible to film even cooler stuff. Thank you.